Hi guys, today I'm here with a get ready with me video, but I'm not exactly sure what I'll be doing yet because I have nothing planned for today's look. The only thing I know is that I want to use this lipstick, which is Max Candy Yum Yum, um, because I, well, I basically bought it for my kid like a year ago and I tried it on myself. I really hated it on myself because it didn't suit me at all, but I kind of want to give it a second go and just see if my opinion changed. Um, and I just want to try it out basically. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm just gonna wing it, I guess. Um, and I hope you'll enjoy watching the video. And in case this lipstick doesn't turn out great, I'm gonna swap it with another one, but I guess you'll see what happens. Let's just start with this spontaneous get ready with me video. I just hope it won't turn out to be a complete train wreck. As per usual, I'll first be using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and I'll be applying it with this uh, makeup sponge from a tooth house. Next I'll do my eyebrows and I'll be using Essence's eyebrow designer in the shade called Blonde. I'll be doing some concealing under my eyes and I'll be using this um, Salmony Corrector from Makeup Designery. And then to conceal some of my redness I'll be using this green corrector. Now I'm going to use LA Girls um, Pro Conceal HD Concealer to just go over the whole thing. Then I'll be using white loose powder. This one is from Makeup Designery and the shade is called Zero. Um, I'll be using this to set my face makeup and I'll actually be applying it with a wet foundation sponge. I really loved using this technique recently because it gives me a more like flawless natural finish and my makeup doesn't look cakey when I use this technique. It's not as quick as applying it with a brush, but I think it's worth the extra time. Now comes the, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing part, but I'm first going to apply some Urban Decay's Primer Potion on my eyelids. This one will definitely have to go to the trash because ugh, it's not looking great anymore. <laughs> I think I'm going to continue with a nude shade on my eyes because I don't want to go too crazy since the lipstick I want to use is very bright. Um, yeah, I think I'll be using this eyeshadow. It's just a light creamy shade by Essence and it's called Vanilla Sugar. I'll just be applying this all over my lid. Now that I look like a ghost, I'm first going to apply the shade called Virgin from um, the original Naked Palette. It's like the lighter shade over here. And I'll be using it in my inner corners, I think. Actually, I'll use it all over the lid and see what happens. In the middle of my eyelid, I'll be applying the shade called Thin from the same palette. And then for the crease and under my eyes, I'll use another shade from the original Naked palette. And this one is just called Naked and it's this light taupey shade um, just to give me some definition because right now I look a little bit ridiculous. I'm gonna attempt to do some kind of a winged eyeliner right now but I'm not sure how it's gonna work because I don't think I can do it with only one hand so we'll see. <laughs> but the one I have was sent to me from Born Pretty Store. 
store and it's just a black gel eyeliner and it's called Mix You The Temptation of Ice Cream Dance Charm Eyeliner in the shade 02. I'm gonna try to apply this eyeliner with an angled um, eyeliner brush which I have never used before so I don't know hopefully it will make things easier for me. Doing an eyeliner in front of camera is really nerve-wracking for me just to let you know. Far from perfect, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is because otherwise we all know what happens. I'll end up with like panda eyes and nope, I can't deal with this today. I think I'll be applying just a little bit of a black eyeshadow in the um, outer corner under my eyes. I'm going to use some of the black eyeshadow from the Lorac Pro palette. And I'm gonna like blend it out. In my waterline, I'll be applying some nude eyeliner. This one is from Rimmel, it's called Scandalize. And yeah, I'm just gonna put that in the waterline. Now I'll be curling my eyelashes and applying mascara. And the one I'll be using today is Essence's Lash Princess False Lash Effect. I guess it would be smarter to use a mascara that gives me more volume, but it's too late now. <laughs> my eyes are now done, so I'll be moving on to contouring, and I'll just be using uh, the bronzer from my NARS One Night Stand palette. It's called Laguna. For the blush, I'll be using Well Dressed by MAC. Then I'll be applying some highlighter from NARS from like the same one night scent palette just on top of my cheeks. Now before I apply the lipstick I'll be using um, a lip liner, this one is by Essence and it's called Wish Me a Rose. And over it, I'll be applying Candy Yum Yum by MAC. And let's see how it looks like. I really don't think it looks as bad as I thought it would. I don't know why I didn't like it the first time I tried it on, because I think it's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it, even though it was a little bit random. Give this video a thumbs up in case you would like to see more of these random get ready with me videos in the future. But yeah, have a nice day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!